hey there today we're going to have a look at studio code server we'll talk about why you might want to install it and how to do it now in 2025 you might think there's no point in trying to go in and edit your yaml configurations well as far as home assistant has come there are still areas that you might need to do this for example when i installed frigate recently i had to set up a yaml configuration to get frigate running so let's have a look so this add-on has been created by frank who's the leader of the home assistant development team basically what it is it runs visual studio code which allows you to edit your home assistant configuration straight from the web browser so let's look at how we install this to install this we go along to settings add-ons and we open up the add-on store and we search for studio there we go studio code server we select that and we install it there we go it's installed there's no configuration required for this all we need to do is to start the add-on and then we can go along to the log to see that it starts normally we can now see that it's running by this little green arrow over here now i would click the watchdog so what this does is it automatically starts it if it crashes the auto update as well so that it'll pull any new updates and show in sidebar so that i can access it from the sidebar over here now i can also access it from the open web ui button once it opens up this is the section you want to go over here the config section and if we go on to configuration.yaml this is the raw configuration file that home assistant uses now as you can see there's very little in here the only thing that i've added is this ffmpeg which is used by frigate um, the other thing that's been added in here is a um, a template here for bubble card uh, modules now this was automatically installed when i downloaded the bubble card modules um, here's my frigate.yml file you can see that this was created in order to get my frigate running now if we go into the configuration file one of the huge benefits of studio code server is that it actually as you start typing in code it starts checking to see whether the code is correct so just by typing random letters here you'll see that it's showing an error in red so i know that it's not the right thing so this is the beauty about studio code server it does actually monitor what you're typing in and tell you when you can expect an error now there are other methods of accessing your configuration files you could use for example the file editor but for me the preference is studio code server because it offers you that extra extra functionality of actually checking whether the code that you're entering is correct well that's all for now i hope you've enjoyed this short video if you have please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye for now Thank you.